Hi everyone community, Mike here and today's video is my response to the challenge set by Chris and Chris's channel is at Stylus Meets Vinyl and the challenge is called the Dino Notes Challenge and I picked up on this after watching my good friend Morton Arstead uh, do his response. It's only four questions so there's four albums to show but it does take a little bit of thought because you have to read the liner notes or know a bit about uh, about each album in order to uh, uh, pick the right ones. So the first one is that you have to show an album uh, where writing credits are given to all members of the band. So I've gone for this one, one of my favourite bands, Saint Etienne. This is their 1998 album, Good Humour. And uh, the members of uh, Saint Etienne are Sarah Cracknell, Bob Stanley and Pete Wiggs. And uh, on the back it says, all songs written by Cracknell, Stanley and Wiggs. So there you go. All tracks, all songs written by all three members of the band. Uh, next off is to show an album where every member of the band has at least one credit for lead vocals. So I've gone for this. 1976 album from 10CC. It's uh, How Dare You. There it is. And uh, there were four members of 10CC. And so you've got Eric Stewart. And uh, he has lead vocals credits for Lazy Ways and I'm Mandy Flyman. And we've got Graham Goldman. He has uh, lead vocals credit for Iceberg. Kevin Godley is lead vocals on Don't Hang Up. And finally, Lord Cream is uh, credit, credited with lead vocals for I Want to Rule the World. So four members of the band and all four have uh, lead vocals credit. Thirdly, uh, show an album where there are two lead vocalists. And I've gone for this one, 1966 album. This is a mono original, it's Fresh Cream. And... Uh, the trio of course is very famous, so it's uh, Ginger Baker on drums, and you've got uh, Eric Clapton on guitar, and Jack Bruce on bass. And Jack Bruce was the, the main singer with uh, Cream, and uh, he, he's got the lead vocals credit on um, most, of the, most of the tracks on this album. There are a couple of instrumentals, but on one track, uh, Eric Clapton has got uh, lead vocals. And that is uh, Four Until Late, which is uh, a bluesy number that uh, has been arranged by uh, Eric Clapton. So two lead vocalists uh, on this album. And fourth and finally, uh, show an album where all of the tracks are written by the lead vocalist. Well, I've gone for T-Rex. There you go, this is Tanks, 1973 album. And uh, all of the tracks on this album are written by the lead vocalist, Mark Bowen. So there you go, so that's a challenge. I thought it was a really interesting one because it requires you to think a little bit about uh, uh, what you're going to choose. So uh, anyway, go over to uh, to Chris's channel. As I say, it's called uh, at uh, Stylus Meets Vinyl. I'll put a link in the description and uh, have a go yourself. So until next time, bye.